Are you sad that you can't drag click on the Red Dragon M711 Cobra? Do you wonder how Misdemeanors drag clicks on his Red Dragon M711? Alright guys, so basically, I will be teaching you how to drag click on the Red Dragon M711 Cobra. I know a lot of people have been getting this mouse lately, and most of you guys cannot drag click on it. I will be your sensei today. This is why I decided to make this video to help you out. In front of the screen, you're gonna see 6 timestamps of this detailed guide. Feel free to go there for what you want to learn in this video. There are not that many videos about this mouse specifically, so I decided to be one of those people to make this video. If this video helps you out or you learned something new today, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Enough of me talking, let's get straight into it. As we are at the first part of the video and I'm just going to be basically showing you the Red Dragon software and the best settings for it. So it's in three possible locations and the first location is either it's on your desktop. It should look something like this. If it's not here, don't worry. We're gonna um, travel over to the right side of our screen and you wanna go down and you're gonna see this little arrow and it's gonna say show hidden icons. You wanna click on this and you're going to see M711 gaming mouse. If it's not there, then you want to go to the search bar to the left side of your screen and you want to type in Red Dragon. Press enter and it should be right here. Uh, you're going to see four panels right up up here and the only panel that really matters to us is general. Now we're going to have a look at these settings. These are the most important settings of our mouse and that's why we're going to have a look at them. We first setting we have is acceleration. For acceleration, we're going to have this all the way to the uh, end because we don't really want uh, bad aim when we're PvPing. Uh, pointer speed, this one really doesn't matter. I just have it on the ninth tick. Uh, scroll speed is uh, we're going to have on the most lowest scroll speed because I really don't like scrolling uh, fast. So I just like to keep it slow, but this is personal preference. Double click speed, uh, I this is a weird one because you don't really see a difference. I've had this on the most highest, the most lowest, but I really haven't seen any difference. So that that's why I just keep it in the middle. For polling rate, the best polling rates are 500Hz and 1000Hz. I have it on the 500Hz, but basically polling rate is how fast your mouse sends signals back to your computer. 1000 can be a bit too sensitive, so I just like to keep it on 500Hz. Once you've copied these settings, you want to click on apply and once you click on apply, you're going to see a weird flash on your mouse and don't worry, that's normal. Uh, that just means your mouse has equipped the features you chose for it. Once you're done, you just want to exit and there we go, we are done. Alright guys, we're at the second part of the video and I'm basically going to be talking about the sweet spots of uh, of the Red Dragon M711. Now each mouse is completely different, but for the Red Dragon M711, where I've noticed are these two little corners, top little corners right here, are the most sensitive part of the mouse. I've noticed a lot of CPS register in these two little areas. I've noticed a lot of CPS register in these two little areas right here. Um, I've tried here, I've tried in the corners, the middle, um, but I haven't noticed as much CPS register as I have on in these little two corners here. Try to drag your finger in these top little corner areas here. You'll get much CPS as much as you do here. Most of your clicks do get registered in here. And for long dragging, you should try to use the sides as much as possible. You want to push harder and add more friction as possible because you're going to register more clicks. Um, try not to use the middle as much or the sides right here, right here because you don't really get that much TPS register there. Um, but definitely use these top little corners right here. I'm also in game going to demonstrate you to just show you that these two are the right sweet spots for short dragging. Alright guys, so we are in game right now and I'm basically just going to be showing you the difference why you should click on the top corners and why you shouldn't click somewhere random. So I'm going to start off with somewhere random. So if I just click in the middle, people say, oh I'm getting the sound but my CPS doesn't register. Like look, I'm getting the sound but I'm just I'm not even getting any CPS. Like, 
I'm getting around one to four, and this is where people have trouble. They're drag clicking. They're not drag clicking in the sweet spot where I told them to. Now, if you drag click from somewhere where I told you to drag click, right here, the sweet spot, you get um, you get more CPS. So let me try. See, as you can see, my CPS is registering. What is just happening? As you can see. I get more CPS in this little corner. I don't get as much CPS as other sides, okay? Same with long dragging. You want, like I said earlier, you want to use the side. You want to use the side as much as possible, like the corners. And if I try long dragging the sides, if I try long dragging the sides, I get 21 CPS. Like, you just watch, like, that was insane. 18, 17, 20 again. It's mostly 16 plus. Now if I try, if I now if I try dra long dragging from somewhere random, like from the sides or the middle, I'm not gonna get 21 CPS like I did before. Now let me try again. I'm only getting about 13. Sometimes it's not, my finger's not even going here. But if I try here, I feel like I have more better grip on the sides right here. So I would, this is why I recommend using the sides. Your clicks register more here. You have less registering here, but the, the most sensitive places on the mouse are right here. encourage you to try to drag click up here or use the sides for long dragging. Alright guys, we're at the third part of the video and I'm basically just going to be showing you the finger textures that you should use for drag clicking on this mouse. There are three types of most common finger textures. I have to show my fingers, it's a bit disgusting. Okay. But the thing is, um, I'm going to show you three types of finger textures. You can choose whichever you like. This is basically all about personal preference. But the thing is, um, try to see which one you like and you should experiment with all of them. But first of all, we're going to go with sweaty fingers. Now, sweaty fingers I would not recommend to anyone. When I tried them out, my finger just kept slipping off the mouse. And it didn't really work out for me, but I know a lot of tutorials on YouTube tell you that you should use sweaty fingers. But for me, sweaty fingers didn't work out as much as I thought they would. Um, the second option we have, this is my favorite, and I like dry fingers. Dry fingers, all you have to do is wash your hands and dry them off with a towel. Once you're back, your hands should be crystal smooth. And when you drag click on your mouse, your fingers should be able to just glide off your mouse. Like, just glide. And this is why this helps you drag click, because this motion is really important for drag clicking. It's much easier to get around with a soft ring finger than it is with a sweaty finger. So dry fingers could work. I know dry fingers are a little bit more harder, but they're more efficient too. Third option, yes, I would recommend this for a beginner. And this is, this is in between. This is not a sweaty finger. This is not a dry finger. This is in between. And I would just call this a moist finger. All you need for this type of finger is... Is a is a glass of water and all you have to do is just dip your finger in the water and your hand should be uh, Pretty wet, but you just want to dry it off 
and once you bite it should just be a little bit moist like a little bit watery and that's perfect and you should be able to drag click with that too um, or you could just have a wet cloth in your buyer desk and you can just rub your hand on that and just continue drag clicking all of these three are different options and I encourage you to try these options out for yourself try to experiment all of them and see whichever one works best for you alright guys so we are here uh, at the main part of the video where I basically show you how to drag click on the Red Dragon M711 Cobra. Once you know the texture of your finger, the sweet spot of your mouse, and the, um, the software settings, all you have to do is basically just apply that all together and, for, and just do drag clicking. So all you have to do now is basically you want to, for short dragging, you want to use the tip of your finger. Most people use their middle finger, like me, for drag clicking. But if you don't use your middle finger, that's completely fine. Just use the tip of your, any, just use the tip of any finger, right? So, for short drag clicking, use the tip of your finger. All you have to do now is basically just drop your finger on that sweet spot right there just drop it and you just want to slightly just drag click like you just want to drag it while you drop it and then all basically drag clicking is you just start doing that really fast and as you can see I'm already at 11 CPS 12 now this is a really good method all you have to do is basically use the tip of your finger drop it on the mouse and kind of drag it not just drop it you want to drag it you just want to drag it as well um, now what you want to do is once you've applied that all together, you can do the same motion even while bridging. So if I do it with bridging, it's going to look like this. And we are already here. It's the exact same motion. You just want to keep that motion all the time when you are um, drag, short drag clicking. It's a very easy thing to do. Make sure your arm is in a flexible position, able to move the mouse around the mouse pad. You don't want your arm to be cramped in one place. So just make sure your arm, your arm is in a good position with your mouse and that you can easily just do this little motion right here. Also, first step, you just want to drop it and kind of drag with it. And once you do that, remember, make sure to do it in the sweet spot right here. You're going to get a lot of CPS register right here. And all you have to do is just drag click on it. And as you can see, I'm already at 12 CPS short drag. Uh, I'm not the best at drag clicking, by, but I hope this trick can help you guys. But that's all it for short drag clicking. It's fairly simple. Um, and then double tapping is the same. The only thing, but the only thing for double, for, for tapping is... You just want to, you just want to drop it once, and we're already at two CPS. And as you can see, we're getting double CPS. You can also do this. You just want to like tap with this part of the finger, middle part of the finger, for tapping. That's only for tapping, but tapping I barely use. It's more only short dragging, which is really important. So make sure tip of the finger, and you just want to drag it, drop it loosely and just drag with it in that little speed. Always remember to be in that little sweet spot right there. Okay guys, so we are now going to move on to long dragging. Now long dragging is pretty much the exact same thing as short dragging. The only difference is you wanna use the whole pad of your finger. You wanna use the whole pad of your finger right here, okay? For, for short dragging, you wanna use a tip, for, the, for long dragging, you want to use the pad of your finger. It's pretty much the exact same thing, but the only thing is you want to use the sides as much as possible right here. You want to use the sides, and you want to drag your finger with the pad all the way down here towards the front of the mouse. You want to push harder and closer towards the front of the mouse. Let me try that again. Now, let me try and show you an example. You want to have your, um, your finger in the same position, and you just want to drag. Oh, 
All I have to do is just drag your finger right here and it's pretty much simple. As you can, I just got 18 CPS there, 20 right there. And you just wanna use the side as much as you can. It's honestly a really great way to get a lot of CPS. But I barely use long dragging, more the short dragging I do. But the most important dragging I would say in between these two would be short dragging if you want to learn how to speed bridge. But it's pretty much simple. Just use your pad and you just wanna drag near the side of the mouse because this is where the CPS registers the most. So just make sure you're doing that and you just wanna drag your mouse like this. It's a really good method right here and it should be really helpful for, helpful for you. Okay guys, before this video ends, I just wanted to go over one more thing, and that is frequently cleaning your mouse. What happens is that sometime, uh, over some time, what happens is that when we play any game or just whenever we're holding your mouse, our sweat from our hand gets on this mouse, which causes stains on it. And what that does is it causes your drag clicking ability to kind of decrease. And that's not good for drag clicking, right? You get a little bit of stain. So all you have to do for that is get um, a tissue with a little bit of water on it. And all you have to do is just clean your mouse uh, with that water and make sure you get the sides or the, the whole mouse. So whenever you can drag click, this is clean. You can get a tissue paper, like a dry paper towel and just clean this, uh, dry this off. Uh, if you don't, that's fine. But all you have to do now is once it's uh, dried, you're pretty much all set to go to drag click again. So always make sure to clean your mouse frequently. I do it every second day so I can drag click really well on this mouse. So um, I just wanted you guys to keep that in mind before this video ends. Uh, see, as you can see, there are no more stains anymore. And this is why I always recommend you cleaning your mouse. And also when it's soft, it's pretty much really smooth. You can slide your finger uh, across the mouse pretty easily. Alright guys, so this part of the video is just going to be chill moonwalking. Uh, this is the result you get when you combine all the strategies that you have learned in the video on the Red Dragon M711 Cobra. Enjoy!